Hello YouTube, how's it going? This is KTC Gaming. Yep, brand new intro into a brand new video. This is video 101. I've made my 100th special video. Everyone's seen it. I put a lot of work into it, so if you like it, give a like on that video and share that video. Because that was a very special video and it took me a long time to make. But, um, for our 101th video, or for our big video, we're going to be playing The Walking Dead, the Telltale series. So, I've played a little bit of it before, because as you can see here, I have one up here. But we're going to do a new one, and there is one, one decision in particular that I'm already going to do, because I've noticed everyone's done the exact same option. So, you're going to hate me, but when it gets to that point, or if we get to that point, you'll see which part I'm, you'll see which part I'm talking about. But you'll see why I did it, because I want it to be different. So let's start a new game. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. This is the definitive edition, by the way. So this is the uh, the remastered. Now I'm recording off of my iPhone 7, and I have a True Tone setting. So let me see this. Oh yeah, it looks so much better. You guys, you guys are gonna see a way better looking uh, result than I am right now, which is actually really good, actually. Like if you use True Tone and you record, okay. For people who want to record uh, their Xbox or PlayStation 4, or more specifically Xbox without spending a lot of money on an Elgato, I just got this app called OneCast. It was $12 on the iOS store. I am streaming my Xbox, and I'm using screen record off of my phone. And that's how I'm doing this. And I got my True Tone on there. It's like, it's like a filter to your phone, and it makes it look so good. Trust me, you guys are gonna love it. But let's 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 not get off track. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. No, I was gonna put or she just married the wrong man. Well, 
that though. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. <laughs> and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a What's fussy baby, baby on an airplane. airplane. I'm not telling him he's got to stop. But that's government, government property. property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, <laughs> it's all a big mistake. mistake. It wasn't, wasn't me. me. <laughs> so did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. In the road. This other time. <laughs> they fell. It doesn't look that far. Like that whole like falling and rolling sequence. Hold on, I think it shows you. See, look at that. Look at how far they went down. And you see that whole animation of them rolling. Or, I guess. Ugh. God, I can't imagine being in a zombie apocalypse. Mm -mm. Nah. Um, nah, let's take this bullet. You never know when you're going to need it. Uh, huh. Ugh, sound. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. The sound they got of his leg going. Officer? Hello, officer. Would you more help me take my cuffs off? Thank you for the keys. Let me just unlock that. Ah. 
Wait a minute. I thought there was a jump scare to this part. Like, I thought when you go to unlock it, he, like... Oh, yeah. Officer? Ah! Ah, 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 holy shit! Get the hell away from me. What in the hell? Get, grab the shotgun now. Get away from me! I warned you, officer. Now you gonna get... What the hell are you? Grab the bullet. All right, we got you to the count of three. One, three. This game is so beautiful. Hello. Is it Anybody? Isaac on the phone right now? Yeah, that looks absolutely excellent. That's so beautiful. Now I'm not gonna bore you guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and get going with this. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Nothing can ever beat this Walking Dead game. Nothing. Ah. Hello. I was very disappointed I'm in that an Overkill's Walking Dead. Or one of them. These people may need more help than I do. Neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Ugh, cable's out. What's that beeping? Three new messages. Oh, no. Message Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. 
Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Oh, man. Please, please, just leave the city <sighs> and take like Clementine with you back feelings. to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Stop. We love you. Oh, God, I hate those feelings. It's like... Ugh. Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. Finally, finally got those tingle feelings out. Gosh, this game, this game gets you. We don't want to be a creep. We're just going to say, well, we do need to know what What's that name, name is. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Didn't you get my teeth in water? Don't look for the it's going to be a mess. And there. Okay, I think we did a little too much, Lee. She looks like E.T. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yeah, that's nice to say. Hi there. After you just murdered a monster in front of a little kid. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Now, nothing against Lee, but like, I think that's a little too like on the nose. Like, hey, let's just, like, hey, let's. I'll keep. I'll take care of you while your parents are gone. Like, I love Lee. Don't get me wrong, but the way this game starts out, because it is a little bit old for its time. It's a little weird when you're playing it now. Okay, so usually people say, let's do it before it gets dark. 
but let's go for when the sun goes down. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Most people, they would make the smart decision to be like, let's get out before it gets dark, but I'm going to do it for when it is dark. Just so it's different, you know. Now, let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I didn't know that. Oh, use RB to go faster. I didn't know that. Run. Okay, so let's. Oh, those people aren't there no more. Uh oh. Jacob's messaging me. Okay. I found the bastard! Oh. Yo, what? Are we going to die? I don't know. I'm sorry. I... I... Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here! Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Huh. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Oh, Chet died? Oh, because when you're going out during the day, it's Sean and Chet. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh, shit. You hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her we're a baby, babysitter. Sir. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh no. Oh, shit. It's Chet. Let's go. Get to that my car. Sucks. Go. I think Andre, Chet, and Sean were all friends. Suck. Seeing one of your own friends is a zombie. It's tragic. Who knew we'd be in another cop car? Is it weird that I don't remember this option? At all? Say hi to your dad. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Breckin' down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. 
You've brought a couple guests. We uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. <laughs> so it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take I didn't know he had a sister. How can we never meet her? Or we never met her in the game. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Lee it's Everett. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Can you daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Couldn't either. Um, I wish we had like a DLC we, uh, find her where we could be Clementine when she was a kid hey, Dad, as it happened. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Oh. If you do the other way, he, he goes, uh, we ain't never had anything bad happen here. And then he's like, we don't have to worry about it. It but then... smells like... Shit. I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Oh, wrong word. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Damn. How it sucked being a kid during the time during something like this. I love you, baby. <laughs> Just imagine. Imagine you walk home, you come home from work one hey, day. Get up. And the sister wife with another man. <sighs> it does things to you. Itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, God, duck. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, we're gonna ask I'll see what the time. girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. 
<laughs> Man. That was... There's a lot of new stuff I hadn't even seen before. Like, I thought I've actually already done this before with the different options, but I guess I didn't. Oh. Alright, guys. I am going to you end have off... pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Okay. We're going to end off the first part here. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments. Um, you guys probably are not going to like the few options I'm going to pick because I've I've chosen a lot of the options that a lot of people go for. So in this one, or maybe towards the end, we'll start picking the right decisions. But only for the beginning, just to make it a little bit different and a little more, you know, a little more fresh. We're going to do options that you wouldn't think people would choose. But yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys want to see more of the Walking Dead Telltale series. This is KTC Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.